Abby, and in this video I'm going to be showing you all of my hamster supplies. So a lot of people have asked for a hamster video, so I thought I would just do this one to show you all of my supplies, because a lot of people wanted to know. So I'm just going to go through things as I take them out. So the first thing here is an OVO travel case, and I really like to use this if I need to take a go just out of the cage or somewhere to keep her if I'm cleaning it. And also if I make like an OVO contraption, I can use this in it. Here is a Planet Peco sleep house and I believe this is the small or the extra small one. I do have some more OVOs that are taken apart so here is just a long one and then I have the pieces for two curves. There's also the pieces to an elbow. And right here is, I forget what you call this, I think it's like the den, I think. And there's also the cube, which is inside of there. Right here I have this ceramic dish, which I got at a thrift store. And I really like this dish, I use it quite a bit. Here I have an unopened flying saucer, because I ordered another one and I got green again, so I still haven't opened it, it's still nice and new in there. And here is just a little bowl from Petco and it comes in a set of two but I don't know where the other one is right now. And here is a Planet Petco barrel roller. Next I have this mug which is a, just a ceramic mug that I got at a thrift store and I haven't used this yet but this would look really good in the bedding as like a little barrel. I have some Critter Trail tubes down in here with some connectors, just a couple random pieces. I have this Christmas tree dish which I just got at a thrift store and this will be great for doing like a Christmas theme because even with food in it it will still look like a Christmas tree. I have these small tropical fiddle sticks which is pretty hard to find now. Not very many places sell these small one anymore. Here I just have some healthy select millet and this is a nice little small bag that you can get at Petco and when on sale this is only like a dollar twenty so it's really really cheap for getting a nice small amount of millet so then you don't have like a huge bag that you'll never use. I also have some banana Gerber puffs and Echo really likes these as well. And the last thing in this bin, which I have, is chinchilla bath sand and I just have one packet left. So right here I have something new that I just got which I still haven't put together but I got the OVO mini maze which is really cool. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be and it comes with like the mini maze and an elbow so it's really nice. I don't know when I'll try it out. I'm hoping to get more OVOs, um, maybe a big one so then I can actually make some mazes for her to go up into. Moving on to this bin which just has a bunch of random stuff. I have the small or the tiny um, walk-up bar and this is just the blue one. I have a little purple sparkly igloo from Petco and I believe this is the tiny size. Next I have um, three wheels so I have the medium size silent spinner right here which is actually too big for Echo and I also have two tiny ones because when I first got her she could use one of these but now she's a little too big for these so I have a red one because I ordered this one but then when I got it it was broken but it still works because I hot glued it but I did ask for another one when I first found that this one was broken so I do have two. Some more OVOs. This is like a really dirty OVO that I haven't cleaned attached to a little critter trail but I just have some tubes so there's a T OVO and an elbow and then I have a bunch of connectors. I have this long critter trail tube. I have a critter trail elbow. I have a whole puzzle playground set which is just at the bottom of this scattered but I do have a puzzle playground set down there and the last things in here I have this little Petco house and inside I have two whimsy chews I haven't used this yet but I think it's just so adorable and like the perfect little echo house. So right here I have this little willow tunnel um, that I got from PetSmart I believe. Here is the flying saucer that I do use in her cage which really needs to be cleaned. It's <laughs> kind of gross. Here is this grass sleep hut which I got off Amazon and I have a Planet Petco peanut house right here. So a couple chews. I have this 
little roller thing here and you can find these I don't know quite where I think PetSmart sells these then I have this tiny little willow ball which came on the the little thing with like the willow stick and the two little things not quite sure what it's called. I have this little reptile log, which I really like. I think it's nice and natural and it's cool looking. And I have this bendy bridge and this is the one from PetSmart. So right here I have this homemade popsicle um, bridge thingy that you guys have seen in a lot of cage tours. I have a Petco bendable bridge right here and a Planet Petco little bridge. Here I have a little orange chew and I got this off of Viovet and I have just a little vine chew and I got this from Dr. Foster's and Smith. Now coming down to the last things I have this leaf dish which I'm using in our cage right now and I really really like this dish. I have this little lounging logs which is the small size. I have her water bottle and this is a Lixit 4 ounce water bottle and I really like this one because it's nice and small. Then I have this mug which I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm also using this in her cage right now. And lastly for this supplies video I have this little birch thingy right here. So yeah guys that's it for this hamster supply video. There still could be a few more things hidden somewhere in my room. I really don't know. But anyway that's all these supplies I have to show you today. If you did enjoy this video remember to leave a like. And anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!